you guys it's your girl Leslie aka paint me pretty and welcome back to my channel um I don't know if you saw the two little two little treats here that were rolling across the screen but yeah I picked these up today at my local Sephora and I'm super 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 excited to review them I went out bought them myself because I'm new I don't get PR no big deal and let me tell you. No, actually, I'm not going to tell you because I want you to watch the whole entire video. So there. This video is a review of those as well as a tutorial since I'm lazy and I like to film two videos at once. All right, you guys, if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. Make sure you hit like and turn on the notification bell so you never miss the shenanigans. All right, let's get into it. Okay guys, so we are going to go ahead and start doing the other eye and then we'll go ahead and put the concealer on. I already have the foundation on. I am using the Fenty Beauty in the color 300. Um, I have not set my face with the powder either because I want to try out her powder too. So let's go ahead and get working on the eye. And I'm going to take a blending brush and I'm going to dip into the second to lightest pink to use that to start transitioning. I'm going to focus most of that in the inner part of the eye. Just a light light hand to help blend our bright colors. I think that's literally all you're gonna take. So we're gonna go into this next pink. Same brush and we're gonna do the same thing. Most of it's going up front and towards the middle. All right, now I'm going to take a small flat brush and dip into the orange. This color is so pretty, this neon, love it. We're gonna put that on the outer part of the eye. So we go right here. Just on the outer half. Right now we're just placing and then we're gonna blend out the top. We're gonna set that there and we're gonna go back to our pink. I take that with a domed crease brush, start stamping that over right here. Starting where the orange is in the middle. So we want to start blending those two together and make it look cohesive. On a even smaller brush. Let's just grab one of these. I want to dip into the purple a little bit to add that right here. That, blend that into the pink and towards the front. I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and go over I swear, you guys, I always put these brushes right where I had them, and now they're just a mess everywhere. Get a clean blending brush and just go over the top part. This is going to lighten and blend these colors up, and then we're going to go back in and do the same thing. We're going to keep darkening them up. You know that dark purples and dark blues and reds 
are hard to work with for blending so just keep going just keep going okay, now that that is blended let's go back and do the same thing all right now we're gonna take a dark purple because we want to start deepening this without using black on a nice fluffy brush. I prefer this angled one so that it fits right there. Take that purple and start blending that just in the outer V. There's actually going to be a few colors blended here to give it the depth that we want. I'm going to take some of the red, just a little bit, and blend that into. And let's go in with the hot pink. Trying to be quiet and not talk so much because my wife is sick and she's sleeping over there so i don't want to wake her up but i'm super excited to try the new fenty products so i opted out of the nap time just for y'all well and for me too <laughs> okay, so this is gonna look muddy until we're done cutting the crease so let's go ahead and cut the crease now. I'm going to do that off camera and I will be right back. All right, so crease is cut. I only did a half crease. If you want to do a full cut crease, that is totally up to you. And now we're pretty much going to work backwards. So we're going to do purple first, then pink, then orange. Smudge just about here. So let me start with the purple again and blend it, kind of feather it towards the middle. Now let's go in with the pink. Same thing. Okay, let's go in with the orange. And just placing it where I want it and building up the intensity. I'm concentrating on leaving the bulk of the color along the lash line. Okay, we're going ahead and do a blend. We'll go back and then we'll blend again. these dry patches right here. Blech. Okay, so 
grab a white liner, preferably liquid or felt. I will be using my Too Faced white sketch marker. And she told me little white lies. And I'm gonna go over our cut crease with the white liner. And no, mine's not gonna be perfectly straight. If you are subscribed to my channel, you'll know that and you'll know why. So I do the best that I can. Especially with this hand, good lord. I need to start doing this eye first and then teaching on this eye. Makes my life harder. Right, we're gonna go back over the top now. Same thing. Okay, now before we go into the white shadow over the liner, I want to grab some yellow. We're gonna add a pop of like randomness, but it looks really pretty. And I'm going to use a loose pigment yellow from LC Box. I'm not gonna wet my brush or anything. I'm just gonna dive right in and place. We're gonna start blending that just under the line. It's looking good. I go back to the canary yellow. Add that in. Now I'm gonna take a teeny tiny eyeliner brush and I'm gonna add the white from the Brazil palette. Not the one that's like super shimmery, but this one right here. And that's going over the line. And I'm really digging into this. I want it to be seen. It'll take a few times to build this up to where you want it. Also gonna put that white in the underbrow. a little bit of concealer. This is just my regular shape tape that I'm using to clean this up with. I'm not going to do any liner. I'm just going to do lashes. And then it's time to try the Fenty concealer and powder. Fuck yeah. Right, let me put on my lashes and I shall return. Lashes are on. I have not done the lower lids yet because it is time for the star of the show. <gasps> the Fenty Beauty Concealer. So I am shade 300 in the foundation. And what they say is to go up or down about three, three colors, three shades. You go up if you want it to be lighter, like highlighted under the eyes, which I do or go down if you want it to be more muted and match exactly with the foundation. 
So I, my combination is going to look like this. See, this is definitely warmer and this one's cooler. I'm going to swatch them for you so you see what they look like side by side. I'm so excited to try this, guys. Oh, it's got a teeny tiny doe foot. So this is what they look like. Okay, this one is my foundation and this one is the concealer. Wait, let's try it on. I rushed out to buy this today because I know it came out yesterday but I couldn't go yesterday and I was so bummed. They only had two left in number 280 at my Sephora and they were hidden like way in the back. As if someone was hiding them. But I found it. And I got mine. Let's put her on. Ooh. Very soft. Very easy to apply. It says it's creaseless, but we'll see about that. I really don't believe any concealers are creaseless because, I mean, we all have creases under our eyes. Unless you've been, like, cosmetically enhanced. We'll put it that way. Ooh, this blends easy. This is the perfect color for me. I like an under eye that is like, bam, I am here, I am awake. My skin always looks sallow, especially under the eyes, and I'm always looking tired, so. This looks nice. Eee, I'm so happy. Concealers scare me, I will tell you. It's hard for me to find a concealer that doesn't look cakey and doesn't look super drying because I do have dry skin. And I have mature under eyes, so. I'm not new about that. Wow, that looks good. It's not accentuating my pores. It's definitely not full coverage. It's actually more of a lighter coverage. But man, that looks good. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to highlight the rest of the points that I usually do with concealer. Nose, the forehead, the chin. Let's blend those out. Wow. If it blends like silk, you guys. Oh my gosh. I've never had a concealer that blends this well. In my budget, anyway. Maybe some of the really high-end concealers do it, but I don't know. But I am super happy with this. This really could be like my everyday concealer. Normally I use the Huda Beauty if I'm going out and Shape Tape, obviously that was more my daily concealer, but girl, not anymore. Hey, let's set it with the powder. So I got the powder too. Love this packaging. It is like, hi, I'm here. I'm going to be the queen of 2019 gonna be like Morphe, psh, get out of the way. So they did have a couple, I didn't even, shouldn't even say a couple, they had a lot of different colors for this powder. Um, I really wanted to try the lavender, because I never have, and it did say that it was like almost for color correcting and brightening, but when I looked at it, it was like really white, and I was afraid that it was gonna give me like flashback or like a gray cast. So I went with the next lightest, which was butter. I also looked at the banana powder because I do use Ben Nye banana powder and I love it, but I figured I already have one. Let's try this. It's got a little sifter in it with the Fenty Beauty logo. And the interesting thing is, now y'all tell me what this is because I don't know. It comes with an extra top. Is this for traveling or what? Like I have no clue, so I just threw it in my drawer. My beauty blender is still damp. Let's put on the powder. This is going to be another true test for me because 
powders and my dry skin and under eyes don't get along. I probably didn't have to put on that much. Ooh, that looks nice. And something is definitely blurring my pores. I don't know if it was the concealer or the powder. Yes, look at look how smooth my skin looks. See, nothing will ever get rid of this. Nothing. So it doesn't really bother me that much. I also probably could have I think I grabbed too much powder that first time. This time I used less. Mm, I got a little bit more. Very soft and silky. If I had to compare it to another powder, I would compare it to Patrick Starr's powder with MAC. These two are like neck and neck for me so far. We'll see later when I check in with you guys, but so far, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And I don't bake. My skin would probably fall off if I did. It's way too dry for that. So I just set. good. What do you guys think so far? I like it. I like it. I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush and just kind of lightly dust this all over. We'll see how she performs that way. Yeah, I'm tapping up. Ooh. Ooh, I just realized it smells. It has a scent, but it's good. Mmm, what the hell? That smells nice. It's like... I don't know, how do I explain it? It's almost like... Gentle... Whoa, sh shook that off. Gentle baby shampoo or something? I don't know, but it smells really good. Very fresh, not overwhelming. Make sure you tap off the excess first because a little goes a lot way. Goes a long way. Okay. All right, let's go finish my face. All right, guys, this is the finished look. Today's lashes are by Beauty331 and they are in the style Pretty Wings. This is what their packaging looks like. Go check them out. I decided to do something a little bit different today because I've used my Anastasia contour kit for like a gazillion years. So I have this BH Cosmetics Desert Oasis palette that I am planning on reviewing someday soon. So I decided to try these browns as contour shades. And they worked out really well, especially the top one. The bottom one was a little bit too warm for my skin, but I think the top one looks great. I also decided to try the highlight out of this, and that was the big one right here. Yo, I was shook. Like, I thought I was going to put on a lot. Look at this. It was like one little... It's crazy. So I, I fixed my mistake on this side. On her lips, we're wearing MAC Lip Line in Hover and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip in Crush. So that is it. We will see how the Fenty Concealer and Powder do throughout the day. It is like 3.30 something and I'll have this on for a while. So I will check back in with you guys tonight. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Hey guys, 
guys, I'm back. It's about 10 o'clock. I've had the makeup on since 3.30? Yeah, three something. And I haven't touched up. I haven't done anything. <laughs> I am in love. I am in love. Look, just look. Like, don't look at the eyes and the lashes because those are, those are about done. But look at my skin. No creasing where it usually does. Pores are definitely smaller. Under eyes are still brightened. Like, <gasps> yeah, I'm so excited. Yes, I finally found my new perfect, perfect face routine. Thank you, Riri. All right, y'all, time to wash my face. Good night. Dang it, I do anything for love.